Nope. No? <laughs> nope. There's the timer. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, good morning. How are you all? Holy cow, nice to see all of you. Uh, my name is Steve. Welcome to Restorative Yoga, Relax Yoga, whatever this needs to be. I know all of these faces, every single one of you, so that's good. So I won't uh, bore you with a lot of information about what this needs to be because you know what it needs to be. So when you are ready, we're going to start something totally different today. We're going to start on our stomachs. So, and if that's not okay for you to be on your stomach, roll to your side. But think about taking one cheek, and I mean the ones on your face, <laughs> one cheek down, arms are going to come right by your side, let your shoulder blades roll over to the front, and just find your comfort level. Yep, arms can be by your side, arms can be up by your head, whatever you want. Just close your eyes. Start to slow down our breath right here. Same thing as we would do if we were on our backs. Nice big inhales. Even when you're on your stomach, still fill up your chest and lungs. Feel your chest rise up. In just a second or two, I'm going to say switch, and you're just going to roll your head over and look the opposite direction. So all you have to do right now is breathe. direction if that feels okay. You guys all know if there's anything you need to do to modify something so it feels good, just go ahead and do it. I don't have to let you know you can do it. Go for it every time. Nice big inhales. Nice deep exhale. you're ready and it doesn't have to be right now if you're comfortable stay here as long as you want bring those hands up to the top of your mat and stack them on top of each other and then just bring your forehead down your forehead or your chin and stack them right on top of your hands side to side, roll them right over those knuckles.
bring that head back to the center and then lift those legs straight up behind you and drop them side to side like windshield wipers. You might knock into somebody else's feet, a water bottle, it's okay. Try to get those feet down all the way to the floor on each side. Yup. Lifting up each hip on the opposite side. Legs will come back down onto the floor straight behind you. And then shift those hands, one hand on one side underneath one shoulder, one hand on the other side underneath that shoulder. And then press your chest up, keep your elbows down for Sphinx Pose. Yep. Good. Perfect. Breathe. <coughs> Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, lower down. Nice, everybody. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, lower down. Hands now are going to slide underneath your shoulders. So now your elbows are up off the floor. And now let's do our baby cobra. So you can lift up just a little bit if you want or you can lift all the way up. That's up to you. Beautiful. Perfect. Exhale, lower down. Good. Inhale, press it up. Curve your back out and look up. Exhale, lower down. Nice, everybody. Let's do it again one more time. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, lower down. Super good. Take those arms straight out in front so your fingertips touch, toes touch behind you, and that same reach we do when we're on our back, do it on your stomach. Reach that back wall and those front mirrors. Those arms can lift up, those feet can lift up, whatever you want. Feel free to play footsie or grab someone's hand. It's cool. It's cool. Reach. Bring everything down. We're going to do that one more time. Reach up to the back wall, toes to the mirrors or to the back wall, depending on which direction you're facing. And then lower down. So now we're really going to lift everything up so your fingertips will touch, toes will touch, and just lift everything up. Make yourself into a nice boat. Reach. Lower down. One more. Inhale. Lift it up. <laughs> Exhale. Lower down. Nice, everybody. Arms come down by your side again. Put one cheek back down on your mat. And just breathe. Take the time to take those nice big inhales. And take the time to have those nice deep exhales. Roll your head over so you look the other direction. Same thing. A couple nice big inhales. And a couple of nice deep exhales. Always at your own pace. those fingers and now let's just pull the top part up so lift up your chest your head those arms squeeze your shoulders awesome nice exhale lower down let's do that again inhale lift everything up exhale down good let's add in our legs 
Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift everything up. Nice, everybody. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Arms can come down by your side again. Both heels are going to pull in towards you and then grab those ankles. Keep pulling those heels in towards you first. That's all you have to worry about right now. You can hold on to your toes or your ankles, wherever you like. When you're ready, lift everything up. Everything comes up as you inhale. Beautiful. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, down. Left leg will go straight out onto the floor. Both feet will pull that right heel in toward you and just hold. Both hands, what they say. Both feet will pull into both both hands, both whatever I said. Both hands will pull into that foot. What did I say? Both feet. Both feet pull into what? You guys don't have to listen to me ever. I know, which is the scary part. <laughs> Take that right foot out, left leg will pull in, grab that left foot with both hands, and pull that heel over. <laughs> Got it. Left leg will stretch back out onto the floor. Bring both arms back up. You can stack them on top of each other and bring your forehead back down. And then bring that right knee up to find that right shoulder. So think of like a flat frog on the side of the road. Namaste. <laughs> I'm sure you had a good luck. Just breathe. Step back and then pull that left knee up to your left elbow. Always remember one side is going to be stronger or more flexible, so if something doesn't match up, it is okay. Breathe.
gonna be happy to come back to the center. The left leg will come back. Bring those hands and elbows down to your mat like we did when we did our sphinx. And then you're gonna press up and press all the way back. So your knees are gonna go to the side of your mat and you're gonna keep going back into your child pose. <laughs> Breathe. The wider you take your feet out, your knees out to the side, that gives you more space to come on down in between. And on your exhale, let your chest go. Let your heart melt. Let your stomach go. And just think about trying to sit back towards your heels. That doesn't mean it has to happen today. Just breathe and melt. This is really nice, you guys, because think of it this way. Right now, we're folded over. Our heart is hanging above our mat. So if anything is in your heart right now that is heavy, or you're holding on to, or that hurts, or that you can't figure out, let your heart drop it out into your mat. Let it go. Find lightness in yourself, and just let that go. It's not serving you. Walk your hands over to the right. Maybe they come off your mat and touch that floor next to you just a little bit. You can carve it out as much or as little as you want. everybody. Breathe. Keep letting everything go. When you exhale, sit back closer toward those heels. Let your chest go. Let your heart go. up to the top of your mat. One more nice big inhale and exhale. Make it your deepest right here. And then when you're ready, walk your hands back to meet your knees. And then you're gonna shift to one side and swing right around, come down to a seated position. And then from there, come right down onto your backs. Uh, Always take your time because this is your practice. <sighs> nice big inhales. Nice deep exhales. sink back into you, melt into your mat. Gently roll your head side to side, chin coming down to each shoulder. Arm 
fingertips are going to reach above your head, fingertips touch, toes will come to touch in front, do that deep stretch. Imagine I'm pulling on your hands and on your feet, really stretch it out. And then let that go. When you're ready, pull that right knee nice and gently into your chest. And now just hold it right there and breathe. Point and flex those toes. Wiggle out that ankle. Try to stretch your toes, make the space in between them get bigger. And then pull that knee into your chest a little bit more. Take that right leg straight out onto the floor. Nice and gently, left knee pulls in. Same thing on this side. Roll out that ankle, point and flex those toes, widen the space, and then pull your knee in a little closer. straight up. We're going to do that one more time on each side. Pull that right knee in. Go for any modification there. Ankle, toes, all that good stuff. And then pull it in a little bit closer. Right leg goes out. Take your time, left knee will pull in. Yep, point and flex, ankle, pull it in a little bit closer. and straight. Arms come up nice and tall. Fingertips touch. Toes touch. We're going to do our banana asana. So hips press over to the left. Arms and legs curve over to the right like a banana. center at your own pace and then same thing on the other side hips press to the right arms and legs curve over to the left back up nice and tall stretch it out one more time if you want to and then right knee will pull into your chest again left knee will come and join it and then make your little circles roll on that lower back make circles on the sky with your knees go one way for a little while and then reverse it and take it the other way make this feel good it should feel nice on your lower back in between those knees, grab those big toes, let's separate everything for happy baby. Yep, again, you can make this whatever you want. You can rock side to side. You can pull your legs super straight if you want that stretch. Whatever feels good.
So take your hands and now wrap them around all of your toes, not just your big toe, and then pull the soles of the feet together. You can even interlace your fingers on the outside closest to the mirrors and then let those heels come down. Yep. Remember, if anything is painful, don't do it. Soles of the feet will come down to the floor. Knees are up in the sky. And now drop those knees side to side for your windshield wipers. Same thing, get those knees all the way down on one side and all the way down on the other so those hips can rise up on the opposite sides again. Breathe. You guys know if you want to turn it into accordion, you can. Letting one knee lead, the other one can slowly follow behind it, back and forth, if that feels good. And then if you want to add your neck in rolling side to side, think about getting it the opposite direction of your knees. So your knees go one way and you roll your neck over to the other, your head over to the other side. Whenever you're ready and those knees are headed over to the right, let them come all the way down to the right and just hold. Head can roll over to the opposite direction if you want that. Take your time and bring those knees up into the sky. And then all the way over to the left, drop them down. Head can look the opposite direction again if you want. Stay here for a little while and then we'll add in that variation if you want to. That left foot that's underneath that knee can slide out from underneath if you want, and then stack it on top, just like we did on the other side.
<laughs> nice, everybody. The breath is good. That sounds really nice. touch and then each knee will open to either side like a book if you need any type of block or strap or towel or if you need anything at all just let me know I'll get it for you so this one especially is where the exhales are really good because your exhale is when those hips will loosen and make sure you breathe and like I say every week you might not notice it in today's class but maybe you'll notice it next week so you're doing the work it just takes breathing Nice big inhales and exhales right there. Take your time. Feel free to stay here longer if you want to, but if you're ready to move on, take keep that left leg just how it is and take that right leg and straighten it out so that right leg goes flat on the floor and I'll bring that foot in and stack it on top of the inside of your leg so like we're standing in tree. same foot that's right there on the inside of your leg gently lift it up and stack it right on top of your knee so now that left knee is kind of in the air well not kind of it is <laughs> This is a new one, you guys, so we can do this. We can do anything. 
take that left foot and now slide it so it steps on the floor. So you're still crossing over that left, that right leg. You've just stepped that foot onto the floor on the right. Yep, we got it. Here, we're going to build onto it one more time. So now bend that right knee so both knees are crossed and pull both knees crossed into your chest. And you can then, you know, stack them so your knees are like right on top of each other if you want to make that space smaller. And then pull those knees in. straight onto the floor. We're like our flat tree. Do we like that? I didn't expect all that to happen. Is it okay? All right, right on. When you're ready, take that right foot and then gently stack it on top of that left knee. taking that right foot all the way over to the floor on the left. So put those nice and flat. Nice, everybody. Perfect. Adjust those knees, how they stack if you want them to be kind of closer to each other and on top of one another. And then just pull in. Nice. She'll wipe it again if you want. Accordion it, anything that feels good like that. Pigeon is next. So when you're ready, both knees will meet in the sky. And then left ankle intersects that right knee. We did a little priming for this one just now. Open that left knee toward the mirror. 
and stay here for a few rounds of breath first, just opening that leg up, trying to line it up with that front ear. Hand slide underneath that right knee, and then lift that right leg straight into the sky. That's where you can do your toes again and your ankle if you want to. It's really nice to point your toes straight up to the ceiling and then make your foot super flat like you're standing on top of it. Of your knee on the right and now pull that knee into your chest just a little bit or a lot of it actually whatever feels good for you that. If you want to take that left leg and stretch it straight out first, go for it. That feels really nice. Left foot will go back onto the floor. Right ankle intersects that left knee and then open that right knee toward the mirrors. Hold it right there for a few breaths. your toes. Stand nice and flat on the ceiling. Roll up that ankle. stack on top of it and then pull that knee in. Stretch that right leg out first if you want. Both soles of the feet are on the floor. Reach those fingertips down and we'll do our bridge. So all we have to do right here is take a nice inhale and press those hips up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. These on your own, everybody. Make them feel good for you. Take it to whatever level you want. Keep lifting up and lowering down.
we're done with the final one of those, we'll all meet with our nice flat back on our mat. And then we're going to add on to this just a little bit. So, nice big inhale, lift up. Make sure you're firmly supported in that left foot so your right leg can st stretch straight out toward the mirror. Yep. And then lower everything down with that leg straight out. Nice. Right foot comes in, soles of the foot goes on the floor. Inhale, press everything up. Stretch that left leg out toward the mirror. Exhale, lower everything down. Bring that heel down. Left foot goes down. Inhale, lift up. Right leg stretches out. Exhale, lower down, heel to the mat. Right foot pulls in, sole of the foot down. Inhale, lift up. Left leg stretches out the street. Exhale, lower down. Nice. Bring the sole of that left foot down. Pull both knees into your chest. Yep. Make your little circles. Really try to roll onto that mid and lower back. And then when you're ready, stretch both legs back out on the mat, on the floor, and get comfortable. I don't know how this class goes as fast as it does, but it does. So close your eyes. Get comfortable. This is your final pose. You'll be here for just a minute or two. And then I'll bring this all back and we'll finish class together. So until then, just enjoy your Shavasana. Gently roll your head side to side, chin coming down to each shoulder. And then pulling your knees into your chest, roll to one side. It can be your right, it can be your left, whatever feels good for you. Press yourself up. 
to a comfortable seat of your choice. And that can be ankles crossed, legs straight out in front, on your knees, whatever feels good. Your eyes will open, that's normal, just close them together again and bring your hands to your heart in prayer. We'll do one final inhale and exhale together. Inhale. Exhale. I truly believe we only keep what we have by giving it away, and we all have so much. And by that, I mean, what do I mean? A kind word? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Patience. A second chance. <laughs> you give any of that away, you will get it back, and you will get it back today. With that, I bow my forehead to my fingertips. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Namaste. Namaste. Sometimes I forget what I want to say, but this is one major thing that I want to say. So in light of everything that's happened this week, you guys, there's, there's not much we can do. Bad people are always going to do bad things, and that sucks. But what we can do, and what I'm finding helpful, is to tell each and every person you love that you love them. Because God forbid something should happen, tell them every day before they leave, before they go out into the world. Because that way, if something does happen, you know that you've got to say it to them, and they know that they've heard it from you. So tell everybody. Tell everyone, the garbage man, your post office lady. <laughs> tell everyone you love them. You can never go wrong with that. Have, a, have the best day, and you guys know I love you all. Thank you so much. Yes, sir.